My name is Nordi Fulpa. My role is director. Um, so I've got a business as well as a charity. So my business is Restoration Therapy and the charity is Be New Therapy. But they are basically, the charity, we mostly gain um, financial support for individuals that can't afford private therapy. Helps them not wait in waiting lists for like years on end to get access to their NHS or other um, charity funds. Um, and then the business supplies the mental health support. So we've got a team of nine psychotherapists and counsellors that support people with mental health. Steps of the process are depending on where the referral comes from. So if it comes from organisation like WHG or Job Centre or external charities, they are given, well, they already have on their system a referral form that they send in. I pretty much process it, meaning look for it to see if any of the therapies that we have or the needs that that client that needs, we actually can meet it. So for example, if all our clinical psychologists are the case are full, but the person's coming to us for like the schizophrenia or anything like that, it's something that's a little bit more acute, um, I tend to prefer elsewhere. So my role, role is basically assessing to make sure that what we have coming through the door is it might result freely. Um, so that's the first step, and then they have initial consultation with myself. So that's really to, for them to talk, tell me about what's been happening with them. Because sometimes on referral forms or in when they book through our, our website directly, we can give you brief information. And sometimes on the surface of things, it's like looking for bereavement. But really, for the initial consultation, we start to dig a little bit deeper. A lot more things kind of get unearthed. Um, so then after that process, once they've done what we call the psychometric data completing on our system called MedQ, then that gets processed um, by myself and the admin team um, to basically match them with the therapist that base best meets, meets their needs in essence. And then they get matched and then they start the therapy process from that time. They come through the company and it's private, it's open-ended however they want to pay for it really <laughs> um, and then for our charity they, they get a minimum of 12 sessions um, so because before when we first started we started with six to eight sessions and we were finding that people were just re-referring back into the service um, but now moving it to 12 um, it's a very small amount of people refer back in so people have been like the 12 is more sufficient than the six to eight yeah that's good and does that vary across the borough of Warsaw as well or is that still the same for it varies. Every organisation is different. So it really depends on basically the waiting list for other people. Um, we're quite fortunate because we try and have within the charity, we try to have a, a maximum of three week turnaround from the initial referral hitting our desk and then to be seen by the actual matched therapist. Whereas a lot of people, it's six months is probably the minimum waiting time. Um, and then HS at the minute, just for adults alone, is four years. So. Very varied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very varied. Just talking from a business perspective, we were mainly online when we first started. So I made the switch because I got pregnant with my little one. And from my previous job, being a mental health um, practitioner for a company called Cambion, I did a lot of driving. I could drive from Warsaw to Wales on the same day for an hour, me and the drive back. Like, it was just mental. Um, so I didn't want to be away from home that much. I wanted to be around for the little one. So making the switch to private practice, it started with just me. Um, and then we've really grown since then. So I've taken on, um, as I said, clinical psychologists. We've taken on um, placement individuals are actually needing the hours to be able to qualify as well. So that's been really good to be able to give back. Because I know when I was studying, placements are far and few between, as you both probably know yourselves. Um, so achievement wise, it's been really lovely to see it grow in terms of people joining the team, which has been really nice. Um, in October last year, we acquired the clock tower. So we're based in the Arboretum. So that was really good. Took a lot of work to get the building to where it is now. But it's been also nice doing face-to-face -face stuff and having people in and basically c cementing our core values in person rather than just, just digitally online. It's been really nice and getting the team together so we've done stuff together as well which has been really cool um we've literally just yesterday we got the news that we've been shortlisted for the uk business awards 
Um, so that's really, really cool. Um, so I think the category is best mental health service um, within the UK. So yeah, it's hopefully we get that. So it was, you just even being the finalist is really, it's been really cool. So we've been, all, we have received other awards throughout the year as well. On the charity side, um, we've been, since we started, so 2022, give or take, we've been able to fundraise just shy of £55,000 to be able to support those mental health needs that need it. So it's really cool. So although not everybody's coming through to restoration, a lot of people being externally supported as well. So that's play therapy, music therapy, drama therapy, um, other more acute, like with schizophrenia needs, so clinical psychology, psychiatric support as well. So it's been nice to see people's journey external from us as well and be able to support that. It's, it really it, it changes um, all the time. I was just telling my mother-in-law on the way here, like I went from today just being a pure admin day to having four meetings in the day. <laughs> so now I'm finishing at six. Um, it really changes as it goes, but uh, I've tried to embed throughout it is getting give us, trying to support as many people in Warsaw as possible. Um, so 12 months, I don't know, hopefully all being well, we can outgrow the building that we're currently in. Um, and then we can move somewhere else to support even more people. I don't know, I'm kind of just going with it and mm -hmm. seeing what happens. Just keen to really connect with other organisations, other businesses, to see how we can support them really, and how we can work together with them also. Um, try not to duplicate what other people have done, but how people, we can all work together to make all sort of better and healthier space for people to live in terms of mental health. Are you currently working with any other organisations or is it just the business and the charity that you're No, doing? yeah, quite a few within Warsaw. Um, we have just been accepted by the NHS to work on a project called Talking Therapies Plus, um, which has been high feet to get everything <laughs> sorted and Vicky's been spearheading it so and I thought you probably heard all about it is that yourselves. Um, that's been really cool. So there's a team of nine of us all together um, that are working together to try and support as many people in terms of mental health and alleviate the NHS. As I said, the waiting list is just ridiculous at the moment. Um, as well as other organisations within Warsaw and further afield as well. We work with quite a few charities within, within London, in Boston, Coventry, Coventry, yeah, as well. So not just within Warsaw, but further afield.